Good morning, everybody. Today, we have one of the most fun, cool things we have ever launched. People have been waiting, this, waiting for this for a long time. Uh, we know we've made you wait, but we think it's really worth it, and we think you're going to love it. We are launching native images in ChatGPT. Image generation has been around for a while. In fact, one of the first things that we ever were known for was the original Dolly. But image generation has been largely a novelty. Uh, you've been able to make some cool art with it, and people have done amazing things, but it has not had the power to be really useful in a wide variety of ways. The thing that we're gonna to launch today um, is native image generation in our 4.0 model. And it's such a huge step forward that the best, way to, uh, the best way to explain it to you is just to show it, which we'll do very soon. Um, but this is, this is really something that we have been excited about bringing to the world for a long time. We think that if we can uh, offer image generation like this, creatives, Educators, small business owners, students, way more will be able to use this and do all kinds of new things with AI that they couldn't before. And um, really the best thing to do is just to show it to you. So I'd like to introduce Gabe, who is the lead researcher uh, and really the primary driver of this product. And we will, uh, I'll hand it over. Hey, so I'm Gabe, uh, lead researcher. Hey, I'm Praful, I'm the head of multimodal research. So, okay, I'm going to jump right in with, uh, with a demo. And uh, the reason I'm starting off with a demo is because I'm also using these demos as my speaker notes. So uh, it's a bit handy. Now, um, two years ago, when we first started this project, uh, we were interested in sort of like uh, maybe a scientific question about what native support for image generation would look like in a model as powerful as GPT-4. We didn't know the answer to that question, but a year later, when the model was done training, we saw really exciting signs of life. So, you know, we featured this in a full blog post, if some of you will remember. And, um, you know, we saw that the model could render paragraphs of text, for example, or combine images in really very interesting and novel ways. And I think we spent a lot of time just playing with this model, and I felt that sense of, like, joy and excitement. You know, I haven't felt for a very long time, maybe even since GPT-2. I haven't either. This was yeah. one of those really wow moments. It was a wow moment. But, that model was still a bit rough around the edges. So, you know, it's, um, you know, it, 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 you know, sometimes made typos. It, you know, it was, it, it was kind of unreliable, I would say. And um, so over the last year, I've been refining this model to make it more accessible and more uh, user-friendly to the average person. And so, um, okay, the image is generating, as you can see. And um, um, let me see. So it seems to have gotten all the text. I don't see any typos, which is good. Okay. Yeah. It's still amazing to me to see uh, an, you know, image generation with perfect text. It shouldn't be that impressive, but somehow we've been waiting for this for so long. And yeah. every time it happens, it's like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah. And, and the number of things that like, this image had to get right in the instructions, like the, you know, what you want focused on, not like the, that it should be a point of view image and where we are, and then sort of to get you know, having the text. Like, like that's just, uh, this is still amazing to me. Yeah, and point of view images are actually really hard to do. And this kind of looks like what we see right now. It looks like you had just yeah. taken it, yeah. All right. Well, I am going to begin my demo by taking a selfie of all of us. So. Give me a nice expression. So, oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to make it into an anime frame. <laughs> nice. So in this case, it's not just getting the context of my text prompt, but it's also getting this image. And it can use both of these to produce a really nice image for us. And this is possible because we trained Foro as an Omni model. So, you know, it's a model of not just language, but images, audio, all modalities, in and out. It understands them, it can generate them, and it can you know, seamlessly work across these things. And we have spent a lot of effort to you know, make useful products like first advanced voice mode, where audio just works seamlessly, and now this, where images just work seamlessly across the board. It is so cool that we're finally getting towards this truly integrated multimodal model that just does everything. Yeah. And in this case, you know, it gives the user a lot more control because you know, I might want a specific style or I might want to use a specific previous image I have or you know, a design palette or something. And they can provide all of this context to yeah. ChatGPT. It can just use all of this and you know, produce the thing you want. It becomes more controllable. Oh, OK. All right. We can, you know, we're already seeing the sky behind us. The plants. plants. By the way, this goes live today in uh, ChatGPT and Sora. Um, I think Rollout's already started. So if you also want to make an anime version of yourself, you can you can now do that. Yeah, I think it's already out to all pro. And, Great. Uh, Plus oh. should be done pretty soon. Amazing. 
Nice. Gonna get those It'll be available to free users too. I I see. I have my little beard there. I oh, see your expressions. Uh, and the, my perfect the hand sign. And is my perfect. hand sign too. Yeah. Nice. What should we do next with this? Can we make a meme out of it? Ooh, make it into a meme. Since that's on game speaker notes. Yeah. What do you want to? Um, you know, one of the like common memes inside of OpenAI is feel the AGI. I have no idea what AI will think about that, but let's I try it. I do feel the AGI. Yeah, and in this case, right? Well, that anime thing is so good. Yeah, um, and in this case, you know, the model is seeing all of the past context as well, and you know, it uses all of its knowledge of you know language and memes and everything to give us a new rendition, and this multi-turn nature makes it even more useful to people, right? Like, I can ask for any edit I want. If it gets it wrong, I can just be like, hey, you know, fix that thing. I think that, you know, is taking us into a direction of making these more like tools, not toys for people. And I think I'm really excited by that. Speaking of memes, how much, like, how much do you think Foro knows about like common internet memes in general? Like if we had picked? I, I think it knows a lot. And I, in fact, when we first put this out to, you know, uh, people inside OpenAI, most of what we got was memes from people. I mean, Gabe can tell you more about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, memes were like one of the number one use cases for this model in our internal version. And yeah, I was just thinking about, you know, memes and why this use case, you know, kind of struck a chord with the company. And I, what I realized is that, you know, as in the last nine months as I've been working on this model, uh, I've been doing this kind of like meditative exercise where I sort of like uh, look at all the images around me. And I realized I'm just surrounded by, you know, hundreds of images, maybe a day. And you know, all these images, you know, not necessarily the most aesthetic or beautiful images, but they were all created with intent. They were all, you know, like memes, they were all created to, you know, to persuade, to inform, to educate. These are the workhorse images that you know, comprise our everyday life. And what I'm very excited is that I'll be able to be giving this power to create workhorse images to everyone in the world in ChatGPT. Speaking of this power, um we are giving a much higher degree of creative expression and creative freedom than we normally do. Um, and so what we'd like is for the model to not be offensive if you don't want it to be, but if you want it to be within reason, really let people create what they need and what they want to eat, what they want. And uh, I, you know, we may not get the line there perfectly on day one, but we think given what Gabe just said, we're, we want to lean pretty far into creative freedom and let people get maximum utility out of this model. And uh, you know, We're excited to see what people will do with it. Yeah, me too. Let's look at the meme we got. <laughs> That's great. Uh, OK, so thank you guys very much. And we're going to welcome a few other research and product people to show some more stuff, unless either of you have anything else. No, thanks, nope. Sam. Yep. Thank you. OK, so in addition to building uh, you know, all of the great research that went into this, we really wanted to work hard to make it a great product experience as well. Um, and so. If my colleagues want to introduce themselves, maybe starting with Alan, we'll, we'll then show you a few more things. Hi, I'm Alan. I'm a research scientist at OpenAI. Hi, my name is Ben Chow. I'm an engineer on ChatGPT. Hi, my name is Lu. I'm a research scientist at OpenAI. So uh, as our models get more capable, uh, their knowledge of the world is deepening. Uh, but so far, they've really only been able to express themselves in either text or code. And I think what's really exciting about this release is that now these models can actually visualize what they know and externalize it in a visual way. So the prompt that I'm going to try is to make a colorful page of manga describing the theory of relativity. And just for fun, we'll ask it to add some humor. How well do you find that the model understands like visual humor versus just funny text? I think that given that this prompt is like so vague, it'll be interesting to see you know, what kind of wild cardy stuff uh, the model comes up with. Um, this is really just like it leveraging the world knowledge that it has, writing maybe an extended version of the prompt, and then giving us a nice image. Uh, but you know, if you have a much more detailed sense of the kind of story that you want to convey in, in this kind of thing, like a manga or an image or in general, you can definitely do that. This model is very good at following instructions. Mm -hmm. And in the blog post that we just put out, there's a lot of nice examples of, uh, of how you can do exactly that. Um, by the way, these images are much slower than previous, uh, our previous image generation thing, but like unbelievably better. We think it's super, super worth the wait. Uh, we also will be able to make it faster over time. Um, but yeah. you know, it's just it's like quite the, uh, the ratio of quality to time, we think, is, is already great. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, and it looks like it's given us not only some English, but a uh, different language here. But yeah, I think in general, um, we're hoping that this model's ability to not only generate images, but also blend in precise text in the right ways, uh, makes it not only a tool for imagination, but also for, for learning and for communication. It did add some humor. Yeah. Yeah, I like the layout. Yeah. And definitely quite colorful. I'll hand this off now. That's beautiful. Thanks, Alan. So Alan just showed us how much this model can shine in professional and educational environments. But what I love the most about this model is how accessible it is to everyone. For someone like me who don't have professional artistic skills, but still enjoys expressing my creativity. To show you what I meant, I've prepared something special. Let's kick it off. Um, so I was inspired by this trading card in my hand that I got from our Sora launch. And I thought it would be really cool if we can design a new one in the same style for photo image generation. So I took a photo of it in the morning. This is what it looks like. But instead of having the giant cat king here, I would like to have my dog, Sanji, to be the main character. And this is a photo of my dog. He's cute. Um, and I've also included a couple details that I would like to see on the card, including the name of the model, the year, and some ability I would like to highlight and also um, the weight and height for Sanji. And let's see what the model comes up with. Why is the giant cat king the Sora? I have no <laughs> idea. King king. But I feel the, the trading card for Sora was designed by some professional designer. So it would be amazing if we can actually use our model to generate that. Yeah, I think our model has come a long way in terms of just very precise text rendering. So it'll be super cool to see how well it does with this detailed instruction. Can yeah. I see the original card? Yes. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, it looks like it's already revealing. We should do these for every launch. These are cool. Yeah. I guess now we can make them with image gen. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely do that. Yeah. And yeah, Sanji is snowboarding, which is something I've never seen him doing in real life, but it'll be cool. Mm -hmm. The yeah. text is also very crisp. Yes, yes, and it got, it got all the stats correct. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Um, thank you for letting me share this little creative moment with you. And now I'm excited to pass it on to Lou to show you more innovative ways of using our product. Yeah, Very sure. Cool. Very happy to share that with everyone today. So we've seen the generation from Alan and Meng Chao. So today I'm going to do something very special here. So I'm going to make a memorial coin based on the generations from these two. And also another two pictures that is in our background. So I'm going to first copy the pictures from Alan, and uh, also the pictures from Meng Chao. And the rest of the two are the background we show here in the demo. So I would like to also use a special hex code here. So as you can see, this special hex code is a spring color because Foil and this launch both launched in spring. So I would like to, it to be a unique color for us. And also I would like to include the text for Imogen and today's date on this memorial coin. So we can make a souvenir for us for today. So you can see this model is trained in an autoregressive way. So it is able to understand both text and multiple images in context and seamlessly render it in a very harmonious way in a coin. So it's able to can you imagine how this coin will look like based on this? Not easily from <laughs> yeah. that, but I'm excited to see. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. That's what I'm thinking of also. So we are seeing here, so we have the furrow image gen, and uh, we have the bear that is the artistic bear there, the radio there, and also Alan's manga, and I was still meeting Sungji. That's so cool. <gasps> cool, that's very cool. I want one of those. Yes, yes. I agree. So now, and I'm going to make it a transparency background because we really want this coin to be printed out so we can have this coin physically for us. So as you can see, the model not only can understand context in one turn, it is also understanding the context across multiple turns in context. So from today, we can just chat to ChatGPT in a more visual way. And uh, this is just a very simple example. Uh, make a transparency background. You can also talk to the model, for example. Imagine how will this coin look like on the back set? Or we can make a unique color for Alan and Meng Chao and me. 
to have a different unique color for each one. And other than making the background transparent, how good will it be at keeping the actual coin itself consistent between the two? Yeah, it's very good at keeping the editing consistent. So that is also to see you can use ChatGPT from today to do image editing and image refinement in ChatGPT and using a very chatty language. Cool, here, so we see the coin here and it's in transparent background now and it's keeping the consistency between the previous generation. That's awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. Well, we're so excited to get this out to the world. Uh, it go, goes live today in ChatGPT and Sora. It will come to the API soon. We, we really think this is a, a huge step forward in what AI models are capable of doing visually and we cannot wait to see what you all will create. Thank you very much and again, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.